Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another AI video. We're going to talk about the uh, the possible Tesla killer. I myself, I, I go by Don sometimes. I, I'm still working on the intro, uh, but uh, <laughs> th this is Mike. Man, I know I'm butchering this intro, but uh, I, I've gone from I've gone from stocks to everybody just needs to be aware of this because their their heads are in the sand, and especially if you're invested in Tesla. The, and I want to get to, um, you know, if you're an investor of Tesla, how to invest in this new company that could be the Tesla killer. Uh, and I, I kind of want to just kind of kind of go back and forth. So uh, not scripted, just just we're just going to going to fly off the uh, I don't say fly off the handle. What do you what do you got for us, Mike? What, how would you word that? Off the cuff. Off the cuff. OK, yeah. we're going to do that. OK, so uh, in, in one of our previous videos. We had, and this is actually our video right here. I didn't realize our heads were blocking this, but this is the the timeline. So the video you can see right here is the rise of AI. This is the video where we, we talk about how AI just kind of in, incoming. And then you have this, uh, I want to say it's September or, or November uh, of 2022. And the dates are along the bottom. So, so we'll, we'll call it September uh, of 22. We we get this announcement that there there's a, there's a bot coming and, and you know, Looks like a. I always thought that was a graphics card on the front because it's got the two fans on his chest. Uh, but look at the timeline. So we go November, September, whichever one. To March of twenty three, we get Gen one, and then December of twenty three, Gen two. Look at just that, and and we'll just over twelve months. Look what it's become from announcement to we're already making iterations. This this is like uh, how how can we put this in the automotive world? Uh, what is it, nineteen fifty seven or the sixty? We'll call it sixty nine. The the brand new Camaro comes out, everyone's excited. You know, it's everyone's favorite car for like the next hundred years. Um, but then in nineteen seventy, they release what we know the uh, the the twenty fifteen Camaro. You know, all, all in one year, like there we're we're making that kind of uh, progression here, and. Uh, Mike, I'm curious on, on your opinion, since I've kind of just led this, butchered it the, the whole way. What are your thoughts just on, on Elon in, in general from the context of, because we're going to talk about, is this a, a Tesla killer? You know what's coming up. Um, e Elon being on X or Twitter, I don't know if, if, if we fully evolved into to calling it X now. I'm, I'm not used to it. Um, how do you think what he's doing is, is it hindering? Is it affecting the performance of this robot at all? Let's start there. That's a good question. Because I know, you know, Elon's not designing his robots, not designing his cars. Right. He has people that he's got doing that stuff for him. The question is, is he, is he around enough to actually lead them? And that's where I do wonder if his preoccupation with X or Twitter or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm is taking away from Tesla, which is where I think he needs to devote his time. Um, okay. I personally think it it is taking away from where he should be focused because AI is moving so fast and, robot, and, and AI robotics are just right behind it mm -hmm. that you pretty much need to be 100% focused on that. That's kind of my opinion. To all hands on deck. Yeah. No time for anything else. Mm-hmm. I can tell you, I, I'm not there yet, but as a huge Tesla investor, it, it's it's annoying to even have those thoughts in the first place. You know, like, wait, wait a minute. When he said that stupid crap uh, online about taking his AI machinery you know, elsewhere, I don't care what the motives were on that, but it was like, uh, what's going on? You know, it was the first time I thought, am I really over allocated in, in, in Tesla, which the Tesla fanboys are probably, they probably just clicked off a, a, as of that one. Um, uh, but you know, Elon, he's not on the assembly line building these things. The, right. and the, the popularity with Tesla, I think already drew in the best talents because there were people that left Microsoft to go work for Tesla. I mean, he pulled in talent from around the world. So did he secure his win ahead of time? Cause we've seen Elon do that quite a bit. Now he's announced some pretty crazy timelines, but as far as like drawing in talent and doing that. He has done a fantastic job of that. So are the important people still doing the important jobs? Does Elon really need to be there? Um, and like I said, I, you think all hands on deck. And I certainly, you know, I think it would help. But 
I haven't fully jumped off the uh, the bandwagon yet, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm peeking out the window. I'm looking around, see <laughs> see what else is there. And uh, go ahead. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm I'm still a fan of Tesla. I'm not a fanboy, but I do believe in the company and where the future is going. Um, yeah. But I also think that the way AI is gaining leaps and bounds and not just every year or month, like it seems to be days now that we seem to get a new release of some crazy news. Yeah. You really do have to be 100% focused on this. And that's, and that's where I, that's where I really, you know, I'm not, whether, whether people, whether you like Elon Musk or not, I could care less. I just want, I want him focused on his role. Yeah. Yeah. I hear that's you where on my that one. Now. Yeah, and because I'm I'm one of the few people that I get it's it's weird for a CEO to be saying the things he says because we we've built these CEOs to just be on stage all the time. All you are is that company. It's like they're not allowed to have a life or opinion other than their company. So I actually don't care when he's on Twitter if he says something I don't agree with. Don't care. Like <laughs> there's just a lot of stuff that that's made it to the media, which you know it just gets a lot of clicks. Uh, that I personally just don't care about. Uh, but when, like you said, when, when it comes to robotics, he's not the only one. It used to be like uh, there was Boston Dynamic with the, the dog, with the tennis ball feet, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the, the how fast we caught up to them, I, I don't know if I've ever really been worried. Boston Dynamics was cool until Tesla announced a robot because right. all they do is program all their, all their actions in there. And they're like, no, nah, that's... It's not really moving like you think. You know, when you break down how the robots actually move, they're kind of just useless. And, and, and so Tesla was going to be this big AI company, and they have all their – and I agree with how Elon does things as far as use, it, use the cameras like we use as humans use our eyes, not LiDAR and all the other stuff because that's that's more pieces, more pieces to break, yeah, more, more, more things to malfunction and not to mention train properly. Uh, so I thought he's going to take all that, put it into the robot, and, and now – I don't, I don't care about the Tesla cars at all. You know, like the robots are going to be insane, but it just seems, you know, out of nowhere, Tesla's not the only one. It's like everyone else is making these robots in silence. And that's another video coming out. I think I used to think the government didn't know. I think they do know. I think they're playing this (laughs) off. (laughs) Remind me, because that's going to be another video. Uh, We'll be off into the weeds on that one. Um, but there, there's another company that released their robots today. It replaced a, a forklift job. People just kept dying on this. So it was a humanoid robot as as a picker. I thought, all right, cool. It's a small time. They're not. They, I don't know if they have any dreams of making that for. Let me go pick a plate out of the cupboard for you. Um, but this company, let's let's bring it. We're just gonna bring it up right here. Uh, so now we're talking about. Did I just cover up some words. Figure is the first of its kind. AI robotics company bringing a general purpose humanoid to life. Uh, first of its kind. What, what what makes its kind so differently? It walks like the Tesla bot. It kind of looks like a 1970s version of the Tesla bot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I guess all jokes aside, does look like a uh, some serious competition. Which I mean if. I mean, if if this is what if this was the, what they're releasing as a first prototype, this is pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah. So uh, l- let's talk about that. It's it's making coffee. We know the obvious thing. It's making coffee, and the easiest thing to make coffee. It's a lid, a cup, and and and, and like everything's already strategically placed. Uh, but I, I don't care for the the easy digs on that. I think that's people that just have yeah you know, head in the sand. Yeah, they're they're trying to figure out. That why that thing's not going to be here. Why it's going to take the next fifty years. Um, but this is the this is the first one we're seeing, and and that I don't want to say blew my mind, but all of a sudden, are we in a robotics race now? Not just an AI race, but are we in a robotics race? And how fast can we implement this? I, I believe we are. I think I think I think it's a it's a dual race, AI and robotics together. Yeah, and, and I'm I'm a hundred percent on board that now. Like. Uh, at first, I kind of thought, all right, just just Elon's making this. It's going to take over the car industry. It's going to be huge. Um, and, and so in our AI talks, we've talked about how um, 
I always thought lawyers, accountants, they're going to be the first to go. And I thought like the fa- it, it used to be when a we talk about AI and, and robots, factory workers are the first ones to go. And I thought AI is going to come replace the computer jobs so fast that you're in luck if you're working at an assembly line because we don't physically have the robot there. And I think that changes with this now. Uh, I, I, it, I think that timeline gets moved up drastically if this mm-hmm. gets released in the next year or two. Yeah. Yeah, because Elon had had his pace, but he's got to be there is first first mover advantage here, mm-hmm. and, and and I think competition is good. I say this all the time. There's always a CVS next to Walgreens, and, and right now I w- I would kind of place this. Uh, it's it's a little early, but if I had to say right now, I would bet this is the Android of humanoid robots, and Tesla will be the Apple until Apple releases something. But you know, right now Tesla's gonna have that premium the the name brand, and then there's gonna be this. Well, this guy, yeah, nineteen seventies stainless steel version. Yeah, Tes- Tesla's got Tesla's got their bot right, and they've got Elon. Mm-hmm. Figure has backing from Microsoft, OpenAI, Jeff Bezos, Nvidia. I mean, some big names have dumped some money into this. In fact, that the reason that we brought this up was that article that came out yesterday talking about the big investors that dumped six hundred fifty million into this into this over the last. Well, the, the article came out yesterday, so previous to that, they've dumped the money in. Mm-hmm. So some big people are actually behind this company. Yeah, and and, and I've said it before, it, it, if money would buy it, it would already be here. And in the AI space, we're kind of bottlenecked by computing power and uh, just the, the general haven't made it yet. But money can buy the proper actuators and, and the right talent to, to, to bring different things in uh, and kind of bring this to life. Um, so I actually think it used to be an AI race and you know, robotics is there. I bet robotics could probably make a jump up and even beat an AI, an AI race. It might. Uh, I think it'll be a much short, I guess the way it works, it's going to be a much shorter race. AI might be running at a much faster pace. Well, let's just say the AI race is running at 100 miles an hour. Uh, the robotics race might be running at 50 miles an hour, but you know, is, is a 25 meter dash versus a 400 meter dash so it'll hopefully somebody gets that you know uh it'll finish much sooner uh i'm I'm pumped about this what what are your overall just now just overall general thoughts about this you've read and you can go to their their website is figure.ai no dot com or anything else right up at the top there's about us there's the master plan and, and you've looked through all that what do you what do you think about all that so what I like about what they're doing is they actually have laid out a plan as to how they're going to attack the market. Um, and I forget, I forget the actual steps there, but if you can go look at it, okay, they have specific things that they're targeting. Um, rather than just like just pie in the sky. Okay. We're going to have robots go out there and do what Th- these guys have, a, has an actual plan, which is really, really awesome. Mm-hmm. Our mission, expand human capabilities through advanced AI. I don't want to read all, all of this off, but let's just... Nah, scroll, scroll down to the bottom there, and you'll okay. see um, right there. So okay. physical labor, consumer household, and then off-world, which I thought was pretty interesting that they're targeting off-world usage. Yeah, let, let's pause there because this is 100% brand new. This just clicked in my head. Why do we need to have humans on Mars doing all the grunt work if we can deploy a bunch of these, get uh, a lot of your infrastructure done? You know, if, if there's an oxygen leak on Mars or the moon, what's the robot care? You know, that well, would kill and, and it, it would off every human right there on the spot. Uh, the robot could just continue as normal. Uh, and then so that not... I don't think that's around the corner. Like I think some believe, but maybe I'm wrong. But I gotta say that that could be uh pretty huge. The uh the biggest which one do you think is bigger, physical labor or consumer household? I think physical labor. I don't know. I actually think I, we haven't disagreed in, in a while. Not that, we, <laughs> not, not that we aim to. You're you're going for, you're going for the consumer household. I think so, because uh, I mean, uh, where I live, there's we have the GM factory, we have the Ford factory. There's quite a few factories where I live, 
But in the automotive industry, I think that that's going to get cut quick. Once once AI really does pick up and we have self-driving cars, why am I even buying a car? I mean, the, the people my age and older, we're, we're probably still buying cars. We get it. People that never got their licenses, they're just like getting an Uber, but it's just going to be them in the car. That's it. They're never going to need to buy a car. No, the, the, the cost to buy one yeah. will, will, will not be remotely close to the same. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It'd be like having a car in New York. You know, I, I've right. never been to New York, but most people, they're on the subway, they're, they're, they're walking, uh, yeah. you know, and, and very few of the rich have, have cars. Right. Um, yeah. I, so I'm thinking with physical labor, I wonder how much of this is going to just go away. Dude, there's just going to be so many needs that, that aren't needed anymore. And I bet that takes a huge chunk out of the physical labor, just industry. And then consumer households do like there's there's no way you're still doing the dishes and laundry at your house. You come over to my house and see my robot just spick and span like it salutes you. It says hi, takes your coat, then goes and does does the laundry. It might even wash your coat while you're at my house. You know, just because <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> greet you and says, how long are you going to be here? And ask if you want you to. Hey, I, I saw you just took your shoes off of the door. You want to kick your socks off, too, and I'll wash it while you guys go hang out. You're going to leave my house with fresh socks, shoes, <laughs> and, and, and a coat. There's no way you don't go home and just get online and buy one. Yeah, I, you may be right. And that may be, my guess is that would be, that would come later, or at least, the, you know, the very rich would, would be able to afford a robot right the, at the beginning until the prices come down. Yeah. Um, and, and maybe long term, you're probably, you, you might be right. I think in the short term, Okay, it, so it's a, it's, it's a one then the other kind of race. Physical it, labor first, and I think that's why they laid it out exactly the way they did: physical labor, consumer household, and then off world. Because okay. I think that physical labor, where you have uh, a corporation which is basically cutting out their employees for a cheaper solution to physical labor, is going to be the primary driver. I would think. So when there's protests about AI, now that is another video we have coming up. Do you think they just deploy some of these robots outside <laughs> and stand on the gate? Because <laughs> you could throw a beer bottle at a cop. That's going to hurt, you know? Uh, and then I would, go, the, the, the tear gas. I would bet no, because it's an investment that they'd want to protect. Man, I don't know. You know, I'm thinking if I'm going to play Red Rover, you know, <laughs> and uh, I would rather run through a whole bunch of cops with their elbows together than a whole bunch of robots standing there playing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take my chances with a cop. You know, and not not saying that, but just a, a physical jelly like human being. I'm not gonna run up and try to tackle a bunch of robots linked together. Let alone are they are they hot? They just that's a, that's a lot of metal right there. Am I about to get electrocuted? I would. Do. <laughs> if I was a company, they'd all be hot. It wouldn't even be DC current. They'd all be tethered, and they'd just be standing out there like a live circuit, just <laughs> asking someone to come touch it. I'd blow them forty yards back like that. <laughs> that'd be it. They'd be fried like Home Alone. Like next. Yeah. You know, and I know, I know we're gonna we're gonna get in, into this in another video, but mm -hmm. the backlash is starting, and yeah. this this I think this is gonna compound it. Um, I don't even think it matters. Yeah, people are they're they're crying on deaf ears, and I've never even used that saying in my life until <laughs> just now. Yeah, the, the crying should start a long time ago. So what yeah. is the, uh, the solution? I, I, I think I think having a I think having competition, and I know mm -hmm. I know I know there were there are other companies that are building humanoid robots, and you know Google's invested in um, a company that is building industrial robots, not necessarily humanoid. Uh -huh. But now that this news is out, and that they're actually advertising it, and the, and the backers that they have, it's real competition to Tesla. And now it's a race, like you said. It's it's just like the AI race. This this now that it's out there, it's going to start growing, and it's going to start growing fast. Yeah. For the record, this is the first time I've actually said Tesla is going to have competition. Not. <laughs> I know there's a lot of like the Tesla killer videos out there. And it's like BMW or Volkswagen. And you're like, whatever. <laughs> you know, like they're not doing it. You know. Yeah. This is the first real time. So I am curious. Uh, I think competition is good. Hopefully it lights that fire, especially because Bezos is there. 
Now that Bezos <laughs> hit the news, they always have that that rivalry. And I'm like, yeah, first of all, I can't trust Bezos because he wears a puffy vest. And you just don't trust men that wear puffy vests. They look weird. You know, I have a thing about it. But now that Bezos is involved and uh, Gates. Oh, yeah. Elon has every reason to stomp these guys out of existence. And I kind of hope that's what he does. I hope they release the, the version five. You know, like the, this, the, the next video figure one puts out. You know, and shout out to, to Brett. Is it Adcock? Yeah, as the as the CEO, founder and CEO. And fortunately, I think he just when he signed on Bezos and Gates, I think that hopefully, hopefully I'm right, lit a fire under under Elon and and he just gets it going. Yeah, I don't I don't know if it's actually Gates, but I know Microsoft has invested. But okay. either either way, the Microsoft name is still gonna get te- or uh, Elon hyped up about it. Yeah. I'm hoping so. Yeah. Hopefully that rivalry is there. Yeah. Uh, I just said, okay, so who do you think has the first robot in home? If you had to guess right now, who's the first one that sells a robot to the consumer? Tesla. Still think so? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think think Tesla, I think what they'll do is they'll get something close enough Mm -hmm. that they can sell to a consumer, even though it might might be buggy. Mm Mm-hmm where figure is going to wait until it's pretty much perfected and they're going to go straight for the um the industrial you know uh uh, manufacturing type uh physical labor workforce so two more two more questions then we'll wrap this up and and i'm curious i want to hear everyone's uh comments down below i'm asking everyone these questions while while mike's gonna answer let me know in the comments down below uh who do you think is gonna be the first one to sell one at home Second question is, who's the first one to have one in, in a factory replacing jobs, excluding Tesla's factory? That, that doesn't care. You know, in the Tesla bot, going somewhere else. You think figure? I think figure. Okay. I, I, again, I, I haven't done a whole lot of research. I just saw the news yesterday. Uh-huh. And I'll be digging into it some more. But I have a guess. If, the, if they are already announcing, they already have a plan, they probably already have partners that they want to uh test this with okay yeah there you have an idea Mm -hmm. okay third and final question how if or when do you think apple has a humanoid robot oh do you think they jump in the space no it's 10 years down the road you don't think you don't think they jump in no i think they're gonna go for the ai agents Okay. I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna turn Siri into like a super agent. Okay. Hmm. It'd be interesting to see if Apple. I'm curious. I, I can. I can see both sides on this, but I just thought about if I had a smart house. Let's say holograms are real. And I'm watching Halo right now, so Cortana's a thing. And, uh, <laughs> like, what yeah. if you had a hologram projector in every room, and that Siri just projected out on the floor talking to you? Yeah. Just, just giving you specs. So no real robot doing any physical work, but all the data you ever needed someone to talk to just right there. Yeah. I can see Apple taking that route. And so you know what? I, I actually not to get out of topic, but I saw or not saw. I was thinking about this last night because you you were interested in the R1, the Rabbit mm-hmm. R1. And I kept thinking, almost it wasn't really a, an epiphany, but it was a thought of, by the time that R1 is released, mm-hmm. is it going to be out of date? Yes. And that's where I think Apple is going to have an edge because they're going to they're going to release devices with the the agent where it can be constantly updated. And I don't know if the R1 can't do that, but I'm just mm-hmm. thinking, you know, it's it's you'll get more lifespan out of an Apple product than I think something like an R1. If that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, I want the R1 specifically as like a collector's item. <laughs> okay. Because okay. And we talked about it in the R1 video, there it's just going to be that transition piece because the R1 yeah. gets the boot real quick. Yeah. Uh, it's cool now because we haven't seen it yet, but it's going to be very quickly outmanned, outgunned, outpaced by, by everything else. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because yeah. Apple, you have your Apple phone, you know, the R1, you have to teach it. Technically, the Apple phone already knows everything you click and swipe on, so it should already know. It just needs to know that's what I'm doing, and then you have the R1 built into your iPhone. Yeah, yeah, I, th- I, th- I think that's the way Apple will go. They'll, they'll have a super AI agent, which is Siri, mm-hmm. and they'll continue to release release a product because they still really are. They st- currently, they're still a, a products company, mm-hmm. but they'll make the product last a little bit longer 
which will be a lot better for them. Would be, would be my guess. Yeah. So I don't think I don't think they'll get in the robot space. I think they're going to go. I think, I think they're going to go straight AI and focus on the, um, the 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 home, you know, home tech. Uh, huh. I was thinking home tech, but I guess that would the robot would fall under that smart home stuff. Smart. It could be smart home stuff, but also you know healthcare because you know they're really into the like the oh, Apple yeah. Watch and like you know mm-hmm. really like health monitoring. I think would be probably a way they would go. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having one of those. I know we're getting way off time. I even said we were going to end it, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> one of those body suits just monitors everything. Yeah, connected yeah. to my my Apple Watch. Like, just let me know what what artery is not performing. Am I? Is there a clogged artery in my leg? We just don't know it yet. Like, you know, like that could be cool. Yeah. Um, all right. So, so rain it back in. Wrap we'll, it up. We'll end it, we'll end it here. Yeah. You yeah. think uh, so? This is the only competition for Tesla right now. It, uh, this is this is the only one I know about. This is the one that I I've actually seen a demo. Not seen. I haven't actually seen it other than on the website. But the fact that it was announced, it's got big backers. They actually have a robot that you can see doing things, and it mm-hmm. doesn't look too bad. This is probably the first of a few. Um, and my general thought is, I think this is good because it's going to kick off this humanoid robotics race. And and I I think now our channel is going to get a lot. Uh, crazier because not only are we tracking AI just in general, now we're tracking humanoid stuff. So I can't wait till my humanoid robot brings me a monster midstream, <laughs> <laughs> tracks it for me. Like, what was that? I'm like, oh, thank you. Just even look on to the left. I just, I mean, I this, monster. this this really is the convergence of all this technology and just uh-huh. creating a rapid development of, of new progress that we've never seen before. Yeah, I'm pumped. I'm excited. Me too. Um, all right. We'll wrap it up here. Uh, we'll see. Uh, well, let's we get let's do the normal outro, the real one this time. We're gonna, we're going to wrap it up. We're going to say our goodbyes. Uh, if you guys want to join the conversation, the Discord link is in the description, hundred percent free. Uh, again, not to be confused with my stock Discord or anything like that. Uh, but we started doing these videos just to kind of bring awareness to AI now robotics. Just the the next big change that's coming. Uh, so if you just want to be in the uh, in the conversation, chat with us about that, or just have a general hub for news. Uh, that's where Mike is usually sending me articles. It you know, gets posted in there. Um, come check it out, and we will see you all in the next video. See you. Have a good one.